Uh, so, as all of us know, and of all the members of the press who are here know as well, we are gathered here because two weeks ago, uh, at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, an unspeakable act of mass violence took the lives of 19 children and two of their teachers. Um, I, I know I speak for all of us, and I think I speak for everyone in the country, in saying our hearts are broken uh, by what happened in Uvalde. There is nothing uh, that we can do that can undo the pain uh, borne both by the survivors, the families, of the victims, and the community, uh, and the country. Uh, but the independence um, uh, and transparency and expertise of the Justice Department can go a long way toward assessing what happened in Uvalde with respect to the law enforcement response and to giving guidance for the future. Uh, and that's what we're uh, here for today. The Justice Department is undertaking a critical incident review of the law enforcement response that day at the request of the Uvalde mayor. The review will be comprehensive, it will be a transparent, and it will be independent. We will be assessing what happened that day. We will be doing site visits at the school. We will be conducting uh, interviews of uh, an extremely wide variety of stakeholders witnesses, families, law enforcement, government officials, school officials, um, and we will be reviewing the resources that were made available after the, um, in the aftermath. The review will culminate in a final report, which will include our findings and recommendations, and it will be made public. The department's COPS office um, is leading the review. Our um, uh, director, Rob Chapman, and our senior counselor, uh, Shanetta Cutler um, will be leading the team. As I said, nothing that these folks can do can undo the terrible tragedy that occurred and that we are just heartbroken about, but we can assess what happened and we can make recommendations for the future. I would also say that as we conduct this review, the Justice Department stands ready to participate, to support the bipartisan gun safety negotiations that are going on in Congress right now in any way that's possible.